uh, stock of the day. Uh, probably Australia's most owned um, stock and uh, the biggest of the big four banks, uh, CBA's 9 uh, $9.59 billion full year cash profit out this morning. Topping estimates, shareholders will be rewarded with a higher than expected dividend, $2 a share, taking the full year dividend to $3.85. That's an 11% jump in profits with home lending driving the result and comes despite an 18 point drop in net interest margins. The bank says it expects margins to increase as interest rates rise though. Profits were also padded by a drop in expenses related to lower remediation costs and productivity benefits, which offset a rise in higher staff costs. Matt Common says Aussie businesses and households are in a good position, but that he expects consumer demand to continue to moderate as the cost of living bites. Matt Common uh, will be on Ausbiz a bit later this afternoon. I'll be uh, chatting with him. Um, let's get the view of, uh, of the fellas. Andrew Willett from uh, DP Wealth Advisory. What do you think of the result? And Combank shares at these levels. Uh, good day, Koshi and Henry. I think the result was not too bad. It was uh, just slightly ahead of consensus, about 2% ahead of consensus. And certainly that uplift in dividend was welcome. Albeit on the current share price, it's about a what 3.85% fully franked dividend. So certainly not as high as some of the other banks. Um, as you spoke about, Koshi, the result, the beat was uh, mainly driven, well, in part driven to the winding back of some of the COVID provisions that they actually had in place. So again, it's quite right to do that, but equally so it's not just sort of a straight business growth piece. There's a couple of other moving parts there as well. Uh, would I be paying $101 for CBA at the moment? I probably would struggle a little bit with that. Um, but equally so, it's a very well-run business and I'm very comfortable with it for clients to be holding it, but, oh, sorry, $100.40. But would I be buying it at these levels? Uh, probably not, because of course, once they go ex-dividend, they might come under a little bit of pressure as well. Right, okay. All right, so I'll hold from you. Henry, uh, what do you think of uh, CBA? Big four bank, you usually find them a bit boring. <laughs> yeah, well, boring is kind of good, Koshi. You've got to say, boring can be good, especially, you know, the, the big four banks are basically just money printing machines, aren't they? Let's face it. You know, they make between 28 and $30 billion in profit, out of which they pay back 70% of those profits back to shareholders. So it is a money printing machine. And once again, ComBank has shown us that it is that money printing machine, better dividend, uh, results in line, etc. Um, the thing that I find interesting about all these banks uh, is they're all singing from the same song sheet. They're all talking about uh, their mortgage holders being ahead of payments, no problems. Uh, they even had, uh, they said the proportion of customers falling behind in their home repayments has fallen to 0.49%. You know, so this is a pretty good environment. Now, on the flip side of all of this, we're seeing consumer sentiment falling off a cliff at the moment, if you can believe some of the uh, consumer numbers. We're seeing house prices under some pressure, and we're seeing interest rates heading higher. Now, I don't know whether they've all got together, these four of them, the four heads of these banks, and said, you know, this is what we're going to say. We're going to keep the uh, confidence in the sector. Uh, but certainly that is something that is generic to all of them at the moment. No problems, nothing to see here. No one's going to have any problems with their mortgages. All these fixed rates are going to expire and they're all going to roll into uh, whatever comes next. And that's going to be quite somewhat higher in the next one or two years. It is a hold only because it is such a money printing machine. And it has had a massive rally off that sort of $87 to 100 bucks odd. Um, I would probably... You know, as Andrew says, once the dividend's out of the way, maybe the incentive to own this one diminishes slightly. It is trading at a big premium, as always, to the other three banks. Is that justified? Probably, yes. Maybe it's um, trading at a big premium to other stocks that you think, well, maybe they've got more growth. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a hold. But I'm just still concerned about the issues with higher rates, delinquencies, bad debts, etc i know we've got you know full employment we've got uh, growth etc but it's just niggling at the back of my mind still mm -hmm. that um, you know all is supposedly rosy 
but maybe it's not. The other thing that was slightly worrying about the numbers was Macquarie seems to be making some inroads into the mortgage market, which, given they're doing lots of advertising, is hardly surprising. Yeah.